Oliver? Hello? May I help you? Oh, uh, hi, we're from the, um... We're from the USPS. Um, we're trying to deliver a letter to someone we believe is the caregiver to a lady named Sandy. Thank you. I'm not sure if this is the right place, but if you're in the right place, she'll be right out. Uh, Sandy? Is she okay? Hi. Oh, hi. Uh, are you Sandy? Oh, no. This is Sandy. <laughs> hey, Sandy. You got a special delivery. You never forget your partner. And, well, look, <laughs> Sandy's never forgotten her best friend. But from that letter, it sounds like Topper wasn't getting better. But Sandy would be able to make him better. <laughs> Probably. But, well, the only way he could have her would be to buy her from the company. And Topper wanted to, but he just doesn't have that kind of money. Girl. Yeah. As the treasurer of the O'Toole Foundation, you've already made a big one today, don't you think? Yeah. Forget it, Oliver. I just need a little rest, and then you can help me up, and we'll try again. Dad, I don't think you can. Well, we can't spend another night here. What is it, Monday? Well, someone will notice we're missing, and they'll send help. I didn't tell anyone where we were going. Did you? Dinner at Montel's so now, huh? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Not that I'm so sorry. Oh. I had no idea it was more than just a small cut. It didn't feel like one more than that either. Oh. Don't blame yourself. Oh. oh, I'm obviously not getting any better, so. I got here in the morning and get some help. I'm not gonna leave you here. Uh, oh. Yes, could I have extension 1414, please? You're worried too, aren't you? <clears throat> well, I'm a man and his father go backpacking in the woods for two days and three days later they're not back. It's unusual. Oliver O'Toole backpacking at all is unusual. <laughs> it is hard to imagine. 
You've known him a long time. Almost 16 years. He was a mailman on my beat when I was a street cop, and we had a lot of things in common, so we'd go for coffee once in a while, and he was the one who got me singing in the choir, and we went to this prayer group. Were you two ever, you know? Uh, the timing was never right back then. <laughs> and you gotta trust the timing. You said that before, at the church. It's just something we say to each other. You know, to everything there is a season, a time to be born, and a time to die. I've, I've heard him say that. <laughs> he believes it too. The problem is, if God has everything all figured out, then what's the point of praying for anything? Well, I guess I don't pray to change God. I pray to change me. Travers. Okay. Right? Good. Thank you. They spent Friday night at Cedardale Lodge. They checked out Saturday morning and they went straight towards El Dorado Canyon. What? Don't say that again. Rita, I'm in the mountains. I said we delivered the letter, but we have a surprise. Whatever it is, don't worry about it now. Uh, I think something terrible has happened. Oliver and his dad never came back from their camping trip. What? I'm in East El Dorado Canyon with the police and Forest Service and Dale Travers. And they think that Joe and Oliver are lost up there somewhere. And it's just so big and dark and I can't put a search party together until the morning. Rita, I'm I'm scared. We're we're a couple hours away, but we'll get there as fast as we can, okay? So just just hang in there and pray. I don't know what oh. I don't know if, if, if I can bear it, if anything. <laughs> oh. I know. I know. Oh. Oh, Holly? Yeah, I'm right here.
I've been doing this a long time, and it's times like this that you find out who you really are and what really matters. Oh, well, I guess we found out that I can't handle the pressure. <laughs> no. It's just the opposite. You followed your instincts, you made the right call, and you didn't fall apart until it felt safe. Am I? Am I safe? Oliver's my friend. It's funny, he said the same thing about you. <laughs> Joe's truck over there. There are six trails and they could have taken any one of them. We can't do anything until morning. How come? Search and rescue can't start their foot search until first light. It's gonna take a lot of volunteers to cover all the trails and even then there's a storm expected, so air support's gonna be limited. So, we just have to wait. If there is anything that we can do. Um, Sandy. Can you have a minute? Sunrise isn't until 5.15, right. so... That is a beautiful dog. This isn't just any dog. This is Sandy. This is Sandy? Oh. And guess what Sandy can do? I've still got part of his choir room. Hmm. Here it is. That should work. He wears it every Sunday. What do I do? Uh, let her smell it and see what she does. Is there like a secret word? Like go? Or... Oh, 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 is this a crazy idea? Absolutely it is, but what else do you call it when a rescue dog shows up when you really need one? Oliver's divine delivery theory. That's one of his best theories. Hello? Hello! Over here! Hello! Hello! Over here! Oliver! Oliver! 
Norman. Oh my. Oh. Please, over here. Help the base camp. We've located them, ma'am. Yes. They've been trapped. <laughs> You're about an hour away from sepsis. Let me guess, just looked like a small puncture wound, nothing to worry about, and you boys weren't turning back for a little scratch. Something like that. You were very lucky. I'll see you later. Thank you. Yeah, you see, I'm lucky. Luck is the religion of the lazy. Who said that? I did. <laughs> so you're sticking with your providential perfect timing theory, huh? Remember that kid with the letter in the ball cap? That letter led Rita and Norman to the dog that found us this morning. It's easier to call that luck, I guess, than to trust the timing with something else. One way or the other, it was something else, all right? <laughs> so I guess I owe you a dinner. You don't owe me a thing. That nurse says Shane and Dale are waiting. Shane and Dale, huh? Good luck with that. <laughs> something tells me you'll know what to say. Dad. Yeah. There's been too much leaving in this family. Let's not do that anymore. Got it. so happy to see anyone my entire life as I was this morning. I must look awful. You look terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for everything. I wish I could take the credit. Shane made the call. Where is Shane? Certainly didn't expect to find you in here. 
neither did I. date isn't our last <laughs> that life is too short to only drink you who <laughs> and I'm ready to to try a, a bee pollen and ginger and kombucha smoothie kombucha kombucha <laughs> and I'm also ready to tell you that I know you don't believe in miracles you would be surprised what I'm starting to believe. And so it goes, and so it goes, and so will you soon, I suppose. But if my silence made you. Thank you. Saving my 